One thing about it, I love saving some coin. So if I can save some coin and help you guys save some coin, why wouldn't I? Hey guys, it's your girl Liana. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Liana. I post new videos every single week. Go watch some older videos. We can get a little bit more familiar with each other and better well acquainted. You're probably going to like it here anyway, so you might as well hit the subscribe button now. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So, as we all know, the Sephora Savings event is literally happening this week, actually. It starts on April 5th and ends on April 15th. It's different days for different levels of their membership, but everyone can start shopping the Sephora sales collection on April 5th. It's going to be 30% off. But let me just deep dive really fast into the discounts that you guys are going to get. So this is going to be the Sephora Savings event. So on April 5th to April 15th, if you are VIB Rouge, you get 20% off. If you are VIB from April 9th to the 15th, you get 15% off. If you're a regular insider from April 9th to the 15th, you'll get 10% off. But starting on April 5th exclusively through April 15th everyone can get 30% off the support collection so even if you are not an insider it literally takes two seconds to sign up literally just go to support's website put your email address in and you automatically become a member once you become a member you'll be labeled as an insider you become a VIB when you spend a $500 or more in one year and then you become VIB Rouge when you spend a thousand dollars or more in one year so basically this is actually the second video regarding the Sephora sale that you're seeing on my page personally but I realized in that video, I was just showing you guys a lot of the things that I'm going to restock that I already own, but I feel like I didn't give you guys my wish list of things that I don't have, but I will be buying because of the Sephora sale. And right now, because I have my computer right in front of me, my shopping cart is on $1,109. That's a lot of money. But I mean, luckily with 20% off, it's going to take away like what, $250? I'm going to do that math right now. If I end up getting every single thing on this list, meaning everything needs to be in stock for me to get it, my shopping dart will come down to $887.20. So, like I said, that's actually pretty good savings. It's $177 worth of savings around that price point. So, this will be the best time to shop, won't it? In today's video, I just want to deep dive and show you guys what's actually on my wish list and what's in my shopping cart because I promise you, on April 5th, as soon as the clock strikes 12 midnight, I'm submitting and I'm checking out this entire order. So the first thing on my list is going to be the Makeup by Mario Masters palette. He just released a new one with like cooler tones, but cool tones can look very weird on um, someone of my skin complexion or darker. So I'm going to, I don't, I don't want that one. I want the warm nudes palette. It's just basic, all mattes, all nudes. It just looks so good. And I feel like I never do crazy eyeshadow looks anyway. I kind of stick towards wearing nudes, browns, and stuff like neutrals on my eyelids anyway. So I feel like just having a small little compact palette would just help me so much because it's all I need. It's literally all I need. And then I have the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Can't lie, this is kind of like something that I already have. I probably already said it in the other video too. I'm not really sure, I don't remember. But I just ran out of mine, so I need to restock. And I want the Sephora Waterproof Retractable Eyeliner. I've heard good things about it. I read the reviews. I currently have the Fenty Eyeliner, and it's in the shade because I'm black. So Fenty can do no wrong in my eyes, but they definitely were wrong when they released that eyeliner. It gets so dried out. Literally, I bought it dried out. Like... At the same day that I bought it, it was already dried out. It You have to really work hard for it to like appear on your waterline. And even when it does, it's not a really, really black looking color. It look, almost looks faded. And for the name, because I'm black, I need it to be black and proud. And it doesn't, it just doesn't do that. So I read the reviews this time and didn't just buy it because of the name. The Sephora collection, their waterproof one, everyone says you got to like work an overnight shift to get it off of your eyes that's what I want and I want it in the mad lap on this list I also have two Dior lip maximizer plumping glosses I have one in the baby pink color and the blue color so the blue one don't be scared because I was scared when I first seen it too but I've been seeing so many reviews of it on TikTok it does not leave your lips with like a blue sheen it just more so creates like a milky creamy look to whatever you put it down under so like right now I have on a um a brown lip liner but I kind of put like a very milky pink lip gloss on over another pink lipstick. I feel like I would have had to avoid that step if I had the blue one. I would only have to use one. So that is why I want the blue one and then obviously a pink baby pink bubblegum pink lip gloss. Who doesn't want that in the collection? And those lip glosses are $40 retail. 
$40 retail for Dior lip gloss is a lot, but they're going to be 20% off. So this is if you wanted them, this is the time to buy them and try them out. Next on my list, I have the Fenty Beauty Body Butter Whipped Body Oil Body Cream kind of thing. I want it. Listen, I wasn't even into body butters. I barely was into lotion, but that's a whole different topic for another day. But I went out and bought the Japanese cherry blossom one from Bath and Body Works. And I love it. I've been using it a whole bunch. So I feel like I kind of bought this as the tester to see if I actually want to use body butter or not. This one I got from Bath and Body Works during their sale. I think if this retails $18.95, I feel like during the time when I bought this, it was like buy two, get something free. So this ended up being like the free product that I chose. So, I've been using that a shit ton, so I know that when I invest in this $45 body buddy body butter from Fenty, I know I'll use it because I use that one so much. And then, my favorite lipstick that I've been using right now has been the YSL Candy Glaze lipstick. So, they have this duo pack with two lipsticks in it. Again, it's going to be... It's already, first of all, you're already getting a deal because it's in a value pack with two of them in there for $55. And then an additional 20% off on top of that. Why wouldn't I? Literally, why wouldn't I? The next thing I want to try and buy is actually the Patrick Ta Body Glow. Oh my god. I've seen so many girls on TikTok go ham on it on their chest and I just want that to be me. Especially with like warm weather, spring, summer coming. I just want that glow on my chest. And that's a $50 item. So again, this is going to be the time that I want to actually purchase that. So I want to try that. And then I have two deodorants that I want to try. I don't know if I'm going to get both, but I know I want to try one or the other. It's the Donna Karen Cashmere deodorant or the Salt and Stone deodorant. Because one thing about it, you are never going to walk past and be like, oh, she stank. Who? Oh, not me? So I want to try that because I've heard nothing but good things about both of those deodorants. I don't care which one I get, whichever one is in stock at the time because I know they're going to sell it like that. So whichever one is in stock, I'm going to be getting because... Of course I want to smell good. I'm a girl. You should probably want to smell good too. Whoever, whatever gender is watching this. Girl or a boy, you need to smell good. But I definitely want that. That's on my wish list, my radar, period. In my shopping cart. And then I also, this is going to be the last beauty item. Everything else is like kind of fragrance oriented. I also want to try the Rare Beauty lip liner. Everyone raves about their lip liner. I want to try it. What is the hype all about? I want to try it for myself. I want to try it. And they have like a whole bunch of nude colors. And like I said, I'm on Sephora's website now. I probably would go with the color Rich Chocolate. It's more like a true brown. And that's usually what I like to line my lips with anyway. So that's all the beauty stuff. Now let's move on to my favorite category, fragrance. So the first fragrance on this list is going to be Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Every girl has this scent in their collection but me. I think this has been on my birthday list for the past two, three years. And somehow, I mean, don't get me wrong. I usually put a lot of fragrances on there. So whichever ones I get is the one I get. But somehow, I still don't have this perfume. I still don't have this fragrance. And it's bothering me because it genuinely does smell good. And every time I'm like a girl will walk by and I'm like, oh my God, you smell so good. What do you have on? Valentino down in Born in Roma. So I'm like, yeah. I have to finally get it and since since no one's buying it for me I definitely need to just buy it myself this time so I'm going to get the one out I have this problem where if someone's buying me fragrance or if I'm buying myself fragrance I tend to get the bigger bottle the problem is I have a lot of fragrance so when I get the bigger bottle what is what happens what do you think happens I never finish the bottle and then like the bottle will sit there it'll get old and then it smells weird when you spray it so I'm sticking between like the max I'll go is like a 1.7 ounce from here on out but between one ounce and 1.7 ounce I'm staying within that range I don't think I'm ever gonna go and buy like the 3.4 anymore unless it's something that I literally wear every single day but no if you have a large perfume collection and you feel like you don't get enough wear out of your perfume and then it expires get the smaller one then I also want the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian bum bum jet set so that one has the spray in there the shower gel and the actual bum bum cream I mean again it's summer spring Spring and summer is approaching, so I want to smell like, I want to smell like it's summer. I want to smell sun-kissed because I will be sun-kissed, so. And everyone loves that stuff, so why not buying in the value pack 
for literally 20% off because that set is only $30. If you were to buy all of those pieces individual, it would probably be like $60. So you probably are, you're already saving half and then on top of that, you're gonna get an extra 20% off. So the next fragrance I have on the list is the Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I got this perfume as a sample from Sephora. Mm. Love Don't Be Shy, baby. Love got some confidence, okay? I, my my confidence level psh, through the roof when I sprayed this. It smells so good. It smells so good. But it better smell good for a $295 bottle of perfume. I know, I know it's pricey, but 20% off. That's my justification for everything on this list is 20% off. Also have the Tom Ford Soleil Neige perfume. Everyone talks about Soleil Blanc and I have the Soleil Blanc shimmering body oil and that smells like the fragrance and I also do have the travel size of the Soleil Blanc. It smells good. It smells great. But I accidentally also purchased a Soleil Blanc, Soleil Neige, sorry, Soleil Neige travel size perfume and I smelled it and I was like, whoa, this smells better than the Soleil Blanc. It gives me of a night it gives me nighttime version. Let me get them so I can show you real fast. These are what the travel perfumes look like. They come in these magnetic tubes, like you see how it just stuck together. And then this one is Soleil Neige. This one is Soleil Blanc. You can tell because the tops, one is silver, one is gold. And it's basically just a travel size bottle in both of them. I clearly like the Soleil Neige more because I got these the same time. And Soleil Neige is almost Pretty much done, but I try to savor these because even these sample travel sizes are so damn expensive. Each of these were like $80. Very expensive. Let's get back on topic now. But I want the Soleil Neige perfume and I want the one ounce. Like I said, I'm sticking to between smaller bottles. That bottle is $195. They do have it in the 3.4 ounce if you wanted it. And if you did love this perfume, please go in the store and smell it first because this is the price I'm gonna say is low. The 3.4 ounce is $445. It smells amazing. It truly does. But I just can't, I can't fathom spending that right now. The most expensive perfume that I have in my collection is my Baccarat. It was a gift, didn't pay for it. And I think it's like the $325 bottle. So still not even $445. So I can't leave my man out the mix. I have two colognes that I want to get him. Hopefully he is not watching this video i want to get him the ysl myself cologne oh it smells so good i tried to get it for him for christmas but it was like when i went to savoir it was completely sold out as it very well should be because it smelled so good it's called myself but like when he's raised that he needs to keep himself to himself because if another woman smells your man smell like this walking down the street you might just say bye bye because it just smells so good it really does smell really good and I want the Valentino for myself. They also have the same one in a cologne for a man. I smelled that as well. It smelled superior. It smells really, really good. So I want to get him that one as well. It smells so good. If you have a man, a partner, sometimes even if you just like more masculine scents, if you are a female, those two, you can't go wrong. You sis, you can't go wrong. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I am going to film another video once I actually do place my order. And when everything comes out, I'm going to be doing the Sephora haul, of course. So you guys see all the things that I did get. And yes, leave some comments down in the below what you plan on getting from the sale. Or do we have any of the same similar things on our wish list and on our, in our shopping carts? But let me know Let me know all of the details of everything you plan on buying in the comments down below. Because maybe you might influence me to buy a few more things. And I mean, I'm already spending $1,000. So what's another $100 at Sephora? But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.